And there's a line in our town plan which, although it doesn't have any enforcement quality, it certainly has, it's a, um, it states our sensibility. It says, while there are no areas in town appropriate for commercial scale wind farms, the town encourages private wind projects for residences and small businesses. I'm 100% behind things that are for residents and small businesses. This is an industrial wind farm. And just to give you a sense of the height of these things, the smallest one that they're talking about, if you walk from Town Hall to Hermit Hill Bookstore, that's how tall it is. And it's going to sit in my backyard on top of an 800-foot hill, which puts it at about 14 to 1,500 feet high. And if you think you can't see that from downtown, you might want to think again. The tallest one, if you walk from Town Hall all the way down to the post office, that's how tall just the turbine is. That's from the base to the top point of, the, of one of the rotors. Um, they are enormously tall, they're huge, they're going to dominate everything you see in this town from now until the end of time. They are, um, they have to destroy the mountaintop in order to create the base. There's no way to put them up on the ridge lines unless you make the ridge lines flat. And they're not flat, um, so they will be that way forever. Um, have I have one statement, more statement, and then I have a question. One of the reasons I love where I live is that because there are fabulous lightning storms there all the time. They're just, it's there all the time. The lightning bolts come down from the sky right into the ridge where you're going to put those things. So my question is, how do you protect us from the lightning bolts because they're there all the time? And my question has to do with the 45-day thing because you said that there was a, she asked a question about the regulation about getting leases before you made it public. And my understanding is there was a 45-day period of time where you first had to notify towns before you took any action at all, and that you all violated that. Is that correct or not? So two, the two questions, one is about lightning strikes on the turbines. No, I thought, yes, okay. The right. second question is about the legality of leases prior to the community engagement. Yes. Community, prior to community notification. Response? Right. The, the modern utility uh, wind farms now, the wind towers are protected for life. Uh, so that's really built in. And secondly, I, I don't know what you mentioned with the 45 days and, and um, releases. I, I don't know really what that is. But we have followed all the rules of everything that we have to do in 85 years. Your filing with the Public Service Board makes acknowledges this and says it doesn't matter because 45 days have passed. So you can't pretend to be dumb about it. Well, the only filing that's made with the Public Service Board is for the meteorological testing towers, which are temporary towers to take wind measurements, basically. And the Public Service Board has issued certificates to construct those. This was prior so to that. So if it illegally, I, I don't know why they would have issued those certificates. Okay. Well, I, I will, I'll approach you for your letter.